it's nobody um i just wanted to make like a quick how to uh uh make your vocals not sound shit um when you're in uh fl studio here so i see a lot of people they post this shit that's like here's how you eq here's how you do all this this dumbass nonsense Oof. um they do a, they do a lot of things um but none of it None of it's really that useful. It's a whole lot of just... Um, I, I heard somebody say this. this is the dumbest thing I've ever fucking heard. They said, um, uh, you can't fix a bad take. Um, so th this is partly true. If you just, you know, your voice cracks all over the place and you sound like complete shit, then yeah, but you, you don't even have to sing well. And uh, I'll, I'll, I'll show how that works. Let's make a quick little chord progression here. We'll just keep it in C major because I don't want to think. Because if I think, then the bad thoughts will come and get me and take me away. I don't know. I very seldom know what I'm fucking talking about. So I have magic plugins here. You're not going to have all these magic plugins, so you can cry about it, I guess. I wasted more money than you, so be jealous. Okay, so I have easy drummer. So I use this because I can just drag and drop into a pattern and just take anything. So, so I got the fucking Molly hatchet or whatever that is. Whatever. So then we come over here, and we'll take really any plug any plugin would be fine. I'm gonna use a guitar though, just to keep it more modern sounding. But I'm just gonna do open note power chord chord progression. Let's see here. Oh, and that was AIDS. So, there we go. It's a uh, if you like have the money for this pl uh, plugin though I would get it this is like my favorite plugin on the whole fucking world this 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 is like literally completely totally tits so we're on stoner rock right now because I am um shouldn't be though because that one sounds like shit so we use this one that one that actually sounds good it's because this one's got the fucking hold on where is it at I think I think it is right there yeah no, it says. I right, saw. So don't 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 pay attention to me. Don't even look at me. Okay. Anyway, so you can literally, when you use this plug, just keep it in. Here. If you go lower. So we'll just just do like a fucking okay. So mm, then we'll do F because I like the the half little semitone transitions, and uh, you can eat. You can. I mean, you can really just probably bring that back, but I like to do four. So. Um, in C major, uh, you don't have any sharps or flats because you're a scrub and you make shitty music. So we're going to use this. Let's see how this sounds. this chord progression and probably in everything i've ever made because i'm an idiot but if you're an idiot like me you can do it so uh i guess you can do it too hopefully you're smarter than me good luck buddy so we got that 
Um, I'm gonna, I can put like bass and shit over it too to make it sound a little fuller, but uh, you get the fucking, you get the picture here. So we'll, we'll double track this so it goes with the drum track and it gives us eight bars. And there, look at that. You fucking, you're already done. You already made it. Sound. But did you know you're actually here to learn how to sing? And I'm a baboon. So I didn't teach you how to do that yet. Oh, whoops. I'm real sorry, buddy. But here you go. So we'll set this to record. <clears throat> and then like, let's let's actually, let's just hum over it really quick. sounded terrible mm, look look at this look how bad i am making music that i'm just recording like this all this fucking background music here this will get rid of our noise which there was a lot of this is kind of just to show how like much you don't have to give a shit when you're doing this like it, it really doesn't matter man. just have fun you know and you don't like need to only release music that's so good that, uh, you know, like the fucking masses would eat that shit up and be like, I'm a top 100 artist. Well, guess what? Even my absolute favorite bands like Breaking Benjamin and Star Set, guess what? I don't like all their songs. I said it, yeah. If I met them in person, I would suck their dick, but I don't like all their music. How does that work? Well, I, with, when you meet them, you get really excited and you pull your pants down and then um you tell their penis that you don't really like their all their songs that much you mean like james hetfield i you're a re revolutionized chugging on the guitar my guy man with the legendary down pick but uh saying anger was bad and you should feel bad yeah i said it he likes that album that's so that's how you can tell like be more like james hetfield make music because you want to make it and when everybody tells you it's shit double down on it and be like well i liked it so it was worth it to me so, St. Anger is awful. It's objectively bad album, but they like it. So, use that as a, a motivator. If I sound tired, it, it's because I took um, a gallon of sleep medicine and then just decided I'm going to make this video. So, eat shit. Anyway, so, we're going to hook this up. I'm going to put it on number three. You always want to put your vocals on uh, track number three. NFL studio. This is because I do it and I'm better than you. So you you can actually use whatever you want. I'm just kidding. It was a joke. I hope you thought it was funny. You can So let's see here. We're gonna use Pitcher. I paid for this plugin on top of FL Studio because I don't wanna buy Autotune. Uh Autotune is overpriced. It's okay. It's it's alright. Um Jonathan Young did a video talking about these. If you want a really good pitch correction software, the best one seems to be the one that comes with logic. But if you don't have a Mac like me, uh Pitcher does the job just fine. I think when I had Antares Autotune it was a little better with the tracking, but I for the fucking price, like kiss my ass, like in this fucking economy, like, let's just, we'll, we'll stick with the picture, okay? I have FL Studio's other dumbass thing, too, so we'll, 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 we'll keep that as a backup as well, which is, a uh, Pitch Shifter. Love Pitch Shifter. I had a Harmony Engine before with Antares. Once again, I think that works better than this, but I can't be fucked, and I don't care, so... Sh shut up who gives a shit none of this matters we're all living in a simulation and we're gonna die so anyway we're in c major not minor 
So we keep it in that. That tells you your keys right here. This is also really good if you're someone like me and like um <clears throat> my uh my ear is pretty good for relative pitch. I'm not bad at like picking out what pitch things are in when I sing. But um if you're kind of just listening to an instrumental track, you can match this if you really don't know keys or anything and just go, well, I'm only using these keys, so I want it to match. And then kind of gradually figure out, well, what the rest of the, the seven you can use are. Because uh, for instruments, I've noticed uh, hitting like the, I guess, uh, sour or sharp notes, it's not as bad. Like if you're on like lead guitar or something and you do kind of like a chromatic section, you hit like D, D sharp, E. It doesn't sound too bad. If you're sliding with your voice, it, it sounds poop. It sounds bad. It's a, a big towel that you suck dick at making music and should stop making music. I'm just kidding. I'm really mean. I'm, I don't mean to be. But I did do it on purpose when I just said, fuck you. Okay. So let's, let's put this shit down there. I'll actually put two of them down there. So I've got this in number three. I'll put this one in number four. We'll mute it for now. And then um, come over here. And this is how you do it in FL Studio. I always make it a point, keep the EQ below any pitch correction you have in the cue order. I think it fucks it up. It's the other way around. I know that uh, Harmony Engine, which is the same as the a pitch shifter over here, it, it got bananas if it was like that. It was It's dog shit. Um, raspiness on your voice also fucks these up. Uh, I believe that's part of the reason the one in Logic is so good. It doesn't really seem to be bothered. Um... And I do the fucking, like, main skin uh, raspiness, too. So it would really, really make my day if I had that shit. Uh, but I don't. So uh, just deal with sucking dick while you got it, you know? If it's really that big a deal for you, um, crack all your fingers into the mic while you're talking. And buy a fucking MacBook, you pussy. Um, if you don't feel like doing that, though, here we go. So we are EQ'd. One to the left gives you vocal presence. This is a decent preset for vocals. I think they sound okay with this because without it, this is going to sound bad. So we'll just we'll listen to it anyway then. Just to get a feel for how shit it is with nothing. I'll get rid of the pitch correction as well. Completely raw. Tell me what you wanted to do I never thought that you'd leave me Here alone I will find Nothing is right for me So you're like, wow, it sounds like you're stoned It sounds exactly like you talking It sounds like you can't sing at all Well, joke's on you You don't have to, we have technology So, suck my ass And we're gonna get this Get the EQ, just the EQ. This is no actual vocal effects. This is normal if you're a fucking psycho and you think that being anti-pitch correction makes you not an elitist douche. Tell me what you wanted to do. I never thought that you'd leave me. Here alone, I will find nothing is right for me. So if you're thinking, wow that didn't sound that much better it's like well you're right we still have quite a bit to add so there's a lot of dumb tricks to making vocals sound good and i'll get into all of them because boy do i need them to sound good um uh whoever's watching this video uh just just know that i know that you're just as shit as me okay you're terrible at doing this and it doesn't matter because we're having fun right we're having fun. We wish that we were dead, but we're having fun. So, okay. Anyway, so we'll turn on pitch correction. Tell me what you wanted to do. I never thought that you'd leave me. Here alone, I will find nothing is right for me. That was a bit off. Tell me what you wanted to do. I never thought that you'd leave me here alone. I will find nothing is right for me. Eh, it's not great, but that's the point. I want it to be bad. 
Um, I'm not deliberately singing bad in this. I'm just, I'm mumbling with no real attempt to nail it because I want to show that this will work with not good vocals. Anyway, so. Tell me what you wanted to do. I never, never thought, thought that you'd leave, leave me here alone. I will find a finish right for me. So the one uh, controller. So I have. Tell me what. I have a plugin I like a lot better than controller. It's a replica, but I'm still learning how to use it. So we'll just use this. Um with the harmony that I've added here, which is just a perfect fifth, like a power chord, it's literally the same as uh, these notes here would be, or like a power chord. Tell me what you wanted to do, I never thought that you'd leave me here alone, I will find I finish right for me. I mean, it's really that easy, but we're gonna we're gonna keep going. So what I add is I add a delay, and I I keep the level and the cutoff pretty low on it, but I make sure you do key pitch tempo sync, and I usually do one notch right here to kind of just keep it a little bit behind the beat. So it it kind of almost like creates like a a blend effect, but uh, I'll show you another cool way that I do it. So I learned this one from um, <clears throat> it was really popular. With bands like uh, Ten Years, uh, they had uh, it, it was like two thousand four to two thousand ten. <clears throat> That's when this uh, this effect style got really popular. So, um, I'm gonna bring in another vocal layer. Now we're gonna keep this one to be the same as the, th the three, which is the clean. So we'll keep these just like this. So you'll notice here is I'm keeping it on the beat. Uh, but it's actually a little bit ahead. So this one will be the one that's just a little behind. And you want it to be just slightly behind, because if they're just perfect matching, you get this kind of effect on it. Tell me what you wanted to do. I never thought that you'd leave. Tell me what you wanted to do. I Tell me what you wanted to do. See how it adds like that brightness? It's also <clears throat> increasing the volume, even though it's the same. Um, so that is a way to, if you have like, you know, tight, clean vocals, and you want to make them a little louder in the mix, you can just double track it with the same track and have it just be slightly off. Um, so watch, we're gonna move this one just a little bit behind. Tell me what you wanted to do, I never thought that you'd leave me here alone. I will find nothing is right for me. Tell me what you This is a, an effect that uh, 10 years uses a lot with their vocals. I'm not 100% sure that it's exactly the same effect. It could just be they're doing it with delay, but I like to do it this way, where you take the same vocal and put it a little bit behind. If it's bleeding too heavy into your mix, you can just turn the volume on the second one down. So we'll listen to it all together here. Tell me what you wanted to do. I never thought that you'd leave me here alone. Twenty minutes for me to explain that. That's not too bad. So I mean, that's that's really it. But um, we'll take it. We'll take it a step further. So um, what else you can do? 
because like this. Tell me what you wanted to do. I never thought. Um, actually, I think that sounds a little bit better without that. So I would <clears throat> probably not remove the effect because I like the fifth to be in there. But we, um, well, actually, we'll change it. We'll see how it sounds with a, uh, a third. Tell me what you wanted to do. I never thought that you'd leave me here alone. I will find nothing is right for me. So, um, the format here is a cool thing. It, it Tell me like what the, uh, like processing effect on your voice. So you bring it down, you kind of get that like low distorted thing, even when the pitch is still the same. So uh, leaving it at zero, we'll try to keep it as close to your original voice as possible, but we're gonna bring it all the way down an octave here. Tell me what you wanted to do. I never thought that you'd leave me here alone. I will find. Tell me what you wanted to do. I never thought that you'd leave me here alone. I will find nothing is right for me. All right, there you go. I mean, there you have it. Like, I think that's pretty solid.